Oh man, so much energy. Today's a good day. Today's a good day because I finally get to shoot something that's been on my photography bucket list for a few years now, I'd say. Definitely since I started doing this. Maybe even before I actually picked up a camera. For as long as I can remember, I've been obsessed with classic portraits. Like my Instagram save folder is literally just full of portraits. They are everywhere and I've always wanted to shoot a black 911 wide body coupe. And then a few months ago, someone that I know through social media managed to get hold of one. And then as if by fate, I was booked for a shoot in Glasgow, which just happens to be the city where this Porsche is. The shoot is three days before Christmas. And then I had this whole other idea that we can like get this Christmas tree, stick it on the roof of the Porsche. And that's the plan. For me, this is gonna be one of the coolest shoots I'd do. It's gonna be such a sick way to end the year. Yeah, I just want to go and shoot. Ah! So I'm back from the shoot and that was absolute chaos, like it was mental. It was so good, it was so much fun, but yeah, it was crazy. Back home now, I managed to get the majority of the photos edited on the train here, which has been absolute class. I was always planning to film, but I didn't know how much I wanted to film. I like, just met these guys. I didn't want to be like, hi, nice to meet you. Here's a camera I'm just going to stick in your face content. Like I wanted it just to be organic and chilled. I've known Barrington for a few years. Um, we chatted on socials a fair bit. He's a really cool guy. And Gabe's just like a massive car fan and photographer. So like, obviously we got on, you know? But yeah, we met the guys on this really cool street in Glasgow called Kelvin Street. It's full of like really sick independent coffee shops. But everything has this like really cool like Berlin cafe culture aesthetic. The car was sick, by the way. The car is so pretty. The first spot we wanted to go to is a place called Naked Soup, where we want to get these like Porsche outside of a cafe with people having a bit of food, more lifestyle-y type shots. And yeah, I think they turned out really sick. Like the greens work really well against like the black and the Porsche. And they're just, they're just nice photos, man. We got pretty lucky that a new Porsche just completely by fluke pulled up literally right in front of it. So we actually managed to get like a couple of shots like the old and the new Porsche together, which was just cool. If you want to see more sick car photos like this, follow me on Instagram at Stevie Campbell UK. And then we wanted to get like these pre-builder shots of the Christmas thing, where it was like, we're picking up the tree and moving it about. And they just look really cool. You got the green of the trees, you got the green of the naked soup. They're just cool photos. And then we went into the city. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of like, we knew that the second we went into the city, the car would get quite a lot of attention because like it's a classic Porsche will. And then we kind of knew that putting a Christmas tree on top of it might get it a bit more attention. It was kind of sick as well that like loads of people enjoyed what we were doing and kind of wanted to be a part of it. So that was really nice. <laughs> but yeah, it was crazy. Like it was so much fun, but it was just chaos. Did a little bit of location scouting a few days before and decided that the Ralph Lauren shop was the aesthetic that we want for these Christmas tree shots. It just looks festive, classy, old school, has like these New York shopping vibes. And we thought if we can tell that in a photo, that'll look incredible. We were limited pretty heavily angle wise because we had to park outside and then there was another car right in front of it. So we couldn't get that full front end shot that we wanted to get. And then behind that was a bunch of scaffolding. So it was like, well, we can't shoot that way because then there's a row of cars. We can't shoot that way because it's scaffolding. So we're kind of stuck with this head on 30 degrees to work with. The road was so busy. The traffic was constantly moving that we're like jumping into the road, grabbing a shot, dodging a bus. Like I think between the three of us, we nearly got run over maybe 10 or 20 times. Like it was daft. And honestly, I'm so happy with how these photos turned out. It's like the image that I had in my head is now in real life. We managed to do it and that's just the best thing ever. Appreciate you guys for coming along to this video. It's been a little bit more sit down and talky than I'm used to. 
but it's been a lot of fun, I've enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment and subscribe as well, it means the world, it means that I can do more cool stuff like this, and yeah, peace.